Ragley. This is the Ragley AL29er X large frame, perfect for a person like me who's over six feet tall. And let me tell you, I'm happy I got this bike. Look at that slack down top tube right there, perfect for enduro and all mountain riding. Comes equipped with Shimano Dior 10 speed, Shimano Dior rear derailleur, Xeron Sun Tour crank. I looked up and did some research on the Sun Tour Xeron crank, and uh, the only one that gets bad reviews from are basically the people who can afford the uh, five, six, seven hundred dollar crank sets that to me are ridiculously overpriced. Uh, Sun Tour Xeron crank actually gets pretty good reviews. When it wears out, I'll probably update it to probably a Shimano Dior 10-speed. Uh, comes equipped with WTB STP I-29 rims. Uh, 29 by 2.5 front and a WTB uh, Trail Boss 29 by 2.4 rear tire. Uh, notice the color of it, it's kind of a, it's not really a gray as bike shops will tell you. This came from Chain Reaction Cycles. Uh, by the way, Chain Reaction Cycles, when I got my uh, bike today, the box was completely shredded to pieces. Completely shredded. But uh, after inspecting the frame, the DHL delivery guy said he cannot take it back because it's from overseas. But uh, I inspected the frame very carefully and there was there's absolutely no scratches on it. And believe me, I looked over every millimeter of this frame. No scratches. Just, I love it. I also love the Ragley emblem right here. Beautiful emblem. They probably got the best emblem of any bug company in the world. Uh, comes with a Rock Chox Recon Fork, 130 millimeters of travel. All I can say is, is that when you get your bike from Chain Reaction, this is my second bike from Chain Reaction. The reason I bought the Ragley was the price. New proof was a little pricey. Um, I wanted to get the Q27.5. That was a little pricey. Q Ragley came in at $949 plus shipping and handling, so about a thousand bucks. And trust me, that's a hell of a deal because as I was doing my research for about a month on uh, all mountain hardtail bikes, I found the rag came across the Ragley frames accidentally because they said they took a year off. Uh, they make no bikes in 2018, no frames. 2019, they're back. Um, did some research on them, as I said. The cheapest frames I could find were about $1,300 American dollars. Came across chain reaction cycles. They had the Ragley frames. I was impressed because I know a couple people that own the Ragley big wig and the uh, MBOP and uh, <laughs> the stunts that they do in the on the trails with those bikes is mind-blowing so um, hopefully I can keep up with them with the Rackley AL29 and this is a new addition to their stable uh, this is the first time they've ever made this frame consider it the 29er version of the Ragley Marley frame. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you can't, and it's light. I got a Cube mountain bike. It's a uh, cross country frame. Cross country, I'm really bored of. And, uh, the Cube bike is the Cube Analog 29 with uh, Shimano Altus and uh, Acera uh, components. And this Ragley frame, the entire bike is actually lighter than the Cube mountain bike. Uh, so don't let the size of the frame fool you. But as I said, this is a perfect frame for anyone over six feet tall. 
tall. So if you're over six feet and you want Bradley, believe me, get the uh, definitely get the uh, definitely definitely get the X large version, which Ragley is making more of because Europeans are tall, so Ragley knows this, so they're making X large frames and skipping out on their small frames. But, uh, I mean, you always know you got a new bike when your rear wheel makes that sound. But, uh, as you can see, probably looking out the window back there in the background, it has snowed in New York State. Not going to take a new bike out when the weather's crappy, so I will take this bike out tomorrow and do some uh, GoPro video with it. Uh, believe it or not, right now it's only about 38 degrees outside. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 56. Sunday's supposed to be sunny and in the 60s. So, uh, I'll probably get a couple days of good riding in with it. Uh, as I said, the frame color is more of a, uh, it's kind of a blue. It's not really a gray, like the catalogs will say. It's more of a steel blue color. You got the nice white, but it's a beautiful paint job on the rack. Really beautiful. Chain stays. Uh, it came with a uh, chain stay protector, so I'm happy about that. Beautiful size, very wide. Uh, seat stays, as you can see. Uh, you could probably actually go with a 29 by 2.6 tire um, on the rear. Uh, I kid you not, but it's going to be you're going to have very little space. This is a 29 by 2.4 on the rear. Uh, 20, if you go 29 by 2.6, it can handle it, but it's, you're not going to have very much mud clearance. And when you're on the all mountain trails, mud clearance is important. So, for now, I'm in my father's empty shop here, one of his units he's renting out. Nobody's here, so I get to do a little riding on it. New bike, new bike, new bike, new bike. really nice. I like the frame. really do. I was a bit scared at first about this frame, but uh, like I said, tomorrow I'll take it out, do some GoPro video, and uh, I'll post it on my channel on YouTube.